<clears throat> Hello. What I thought I'd do today is demonstrate how to create a note and how to have a stage set when you read that note, because that's been quite a uh, quite a popular request. So there are two different ways we can do this. We can either have a note that appears like straight in the game and you just pick it up and read it and it's like, you know, there it is. Or we can have a note that is added to the player's inventory somehow. And I thought I'd demonstrate both. So to begin with, we're going to want to create a note. And now notes are, rather than being like in the old games where it was just, you know, note, there's, uh, they're books, essentially notes. And so we've got to find a note to duplicate, which has uh, a model that we want. So it can basically be any note. I'm seeing if there's a suitable one, just having a little look. So we can preview the notes and we can have a little look at what they look like. They mostly all look like this. So just something like this will denote low poly, I'll duplicate this one. So I'll double click in here. I'm just gonna edit its ID, so I'll just call it tutorial note. And then I'm gonna give it a title. Tutorial note. And yeah, that's all fine, that's all fine. And we're going to I'm thinking actually maybe I shouldn't have uh, edited this one because this actually has a uh, there's like a picture on it. I won't edit this one. Um we'll do I'm looking for one that's just really just a this one again. Because this has already got text up and everything. So I'm just gonna change this to tutorial note and give it the name tutorial note. And now you'll see here it's used um like this HTML font size 16 slash font. This isn't necessary, but we can change it to make it um to make it larger. So uh, I'm gonna just clear all that out. We don't need any of that uh that style of stuff. So I'm gonna just put this is a tutorial note. I and mean, then this will just appear like as you would imagine. So in the top uh, left hand corner, this will begin and it will write out like as much as we want to write. And so that's all we need to do for creation of our note. Um, it should ask us now, do we want to create a new form? Yes. And I'll just save my thing. Just my note. So now I'm going to place this one into the world. Like this. So I'm going to put it on the desk in the Abernathy farm. I'm just going to get rid of, that, get rid of all the markers. Click and drag it into the Abernathy farm desk, just because this is Wii where my where my save is that I use for all these things. And so now we're going to want to create a quest to handle our notes. We're going to use character quest, right click new, and I'm just going to give it a unique ID, tutorial note quest, and I'm just going to call it tutorial quest, give it a priority of 45, that should suit, and I'm going to give it the type side quest. Okay. The type is just um, for stat tracking, basically. It's uh, not really important. So we're going to create uh, an alias now. And it, if you want it to appear inside an object, it's similar to the object fetch quest that I did. So we create an alias pointing to the specific reference of the object, and then we create an alias to create it inside. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to right-click, new reference alias. And I'm going to go... Just call it tutorial note. Like I was saying, if you wanted it to spawn inside an object, you'd first create a specific reference object and select the object you want. And then you would create a new alias and you would create reference to object, select the note from this drop down menu, create in, and then select the alias that we'd made before from the list, which would appear. But I'm going to just do a specific reference and I'm going to select forced reference, select and render window, and we're going to select our note. Oh, it's selected for Federalist table. You've got to click in like exactly the right location. There you go, tutorial note. Okay. And we're going to hit no to that. And I'm going to put quest object to, um, well, so you can't remove it from your inventory when you've added it. So now we're going to add a script. And, okay, if, if this comes up, if it's blank, uh, that means we're going to have to cancel and we're going to have to OK out of everything. And save tutorial note, go back into our tutorial note quest, go back into our alias. And add. It didn't take anything like as long now. And so we're looking for default alias on read. Okay. And so this will come up. So we we can ignore these optional properties if we want, unless you want like a prerequisite stage, but we're going to want it to 
set a particular stage, and in our case, we're going to set, I'm going to say stage 20, because I'm thinking ahead of something that I want to demonstrate later on, but this can basically be any stage. And so then hit OK. I'm going to go to my stages, and I'm going to create I'm going to create an empty stage 10, which I'm going to use in a second for something different. And then I'm going to create stage 20. And in our papyrus fragment, we're just going to put set objective displayed 20. And when I compile that, nothing should happen because there's no errors. That's right. So there we go, that's compiled. And then we're going to go to quest objectives, and I'm going to create an objective with the index 20, to be the one that we put. And I'm just going to put tutorial objective. So now what will happen is when we read this note, because of the um, this note is the alias object, so we've given it an alias script. So when the alias this note is read, it's going to set stage 20, which we defined earlier. And so stage 20 will run this set objective display 20 thing. And then that will display objective 20, thus uh, launching up our quest. But you may also want to do it uh, in another way which is you what you might want the note added to the player's inventory rather than it existing in the world. So I'm going to demonstrate how you would do that. So this can be done either through a quest stage or through a dialogue fragment, but I'm going to do it through a quest stage for purposes here. And we're going to want to create a property here. And we're going to add a property, and we're looking for a reference alias. And now we can either give it exactly the same name as tutorial note, or we can put alias underscore tutorial note and that's just a, if you even put the alias prefix which is basically to prompt us that it is an alias and it should automatically oh it didn't I obviously didn't call it the right thing uh, tutorial note there we go I should I probably shouldn't have put a space in the original alias name I hope that won't cause a problem later and then what we're going to do is to add that ob object to our inventory we're going to write object reference um my note equals alias underscore tutorial note and then I'm gonna put uh, game dot get player oh, nice close brackets dot add item open brackets my note okay um I made a little bit of a mistake but what I forgot to do is I forgot to add dot get rare that should be it Okay, yeah, because when I compiled it before, uh, there, was a, there was an error. So what this is doing is it's creating a new object reference for us to use in our script, which is called my note. And we are setting here my note to be alias tutorial note dot get ref. So that's the actual. We use this get ref to discover what the actual object alias underscore tutorial note is, and then we're setting that to this object reference my note which means that we can add it to the player's inventory, because if we put game.getplayer.addItem alias underscore tutorial note, uh, I don't think that would work. Uh, so we can actually add the proper object to the player, and it will be a quest item. So you would put that, if you say you had an NPC that said, here, have a look at this note, uh, it would put it in your inventory, and then you could set up a new objective, like set objective displays brackets 10, and that objective would say read the note. But I'm not going to bother doing that, just so I can demonstrate decisively that reading the note is starting the quest. So I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to hit Save. And that should be all you need to do. I'm going to demonstrate uh, both methods. I'm going to physically pick up the note and have the quest start. Then I'm going to load it, load the game again. And I'm going to use console commands to set stage 20 of the tutorial, stage 10, sorry, of the tutorial note quest. So that I can demonstrate the note being added, that script running, and then me reading it in my Pit Boy inventory and it doing exactly the same thing as picking it up in the game would do. Okay, so I'm going to do two different things. I'm going to pick up the original note, which is going to launch the, uh, the quest. Then I'm going to reload and do the console commands to set stage 10. So when I go like this, we can see this is a tutorial note, so I'll take it. Tutorial quest is launched with tutorial objective showing up. So I'm just going to reload my character now, and we'll use console commands to put the note into my inventory, and then I'll uh, read it within my inventory. Alright, so I've loaded right back in, and I'm just going to use console commands here. 08000 zero, 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 F9B10. 
So we can see there, tutorial note has been added successfully. And now it'll be in my imagery Powell aid misc. I really miss the uh, old system of notes, because now I've got to scroll all the way through all this stuff to find my note. Peak R S, and it'll be right at the bottom of the T it's tutorial. I should have called it AAA tutorial note. And so now I'll read this and like Oh look, it's a tutorial note. And now tutorial quest has started with tutorial objective. So there you go. And that can be set that that, that um the way I added the note to my inventory with that little bit of script can be it could be attached to the result script of uh, an NPC's dialogue line. It could be attached to um, well, yeah, that basically that or uh, any other quest scene, so it can be added to your inventory. The note might be inside an object if you use the method that I used in the I hope you uh, object fe you fetch quest to add the alias into an object. Then you would take the note out, and then you would. Um, take the note out and then you would uh, read it and if you wanted to perhaps set a stage when you took the note out you would use like a default alias on container change script it'll be called something along those lines it'll be similar to what uh, the script that I used again to uh, set the stage in that uh, fetch quest tutorial so yeah thank you for watching uh, I hope that was useful and clear and there's a lot of different things you can do with notes so I've kind of tried to explain as much as I could in just one video so I'm not making loads and loads of videos so hopefully that was useful. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.